We begin our meditation today. Let's center in the stillness of being. Observing the mental space, detaching from thoughts, and staying in the posture of witnessing, just observing, pure observing, no judgment, total acceptance of every thought in this space, but detaching from it. You give your energy away in attachment to thoughts. Open up the mental space. Your awareness can expand. beyond the gross experience into the subtle field of the mind and heart and vital energies. So there's a witness. Then you can go deeper in the consciousness, detaching from the gross and the subtle constructions. Peacefulness needs to be in your awareness. Peacefulness. It is called the peace that passes all understanding. Have faith that it lies within you. You have had glimpses of peace. To be the witness means no expectations. Accepting the play in the consciousness is divine. And seeking that experience that lies beyond the gross. and be under subtle constructions. Stay with me in this space. You already exist in that space. You need only to recognize it. Don't create any intention and accept to let go of everything. Because in letting go, the God experience will come. Stay with me in the silence. Continue to deconstruct. Continue to let go. Continue to detach and understand the greatness of this practice. Stay with the breath as it's a natural movement of energy within your being. Stay with its rhythm, harmonious rhythm of the breath. And you have the joy of traversing the spinal column and brain with your attention, that you may experience a subtle energy system. You can only uncover in the stillness of the mind, which allows greater seeing greater observing, greater witnessing. Everything depends on you.
stay with me. For those of you who know the microcosmic orbit, it's a great practice as it's already going on inside of you. You're only aligning to its natural rhythm. It brings balance. And it allows you to flow with the rhythm of the universe.
slowly give attention to the gross field of one small. The gross physical body, the earth, nature around you. Bring in more of the gross breath as you open the belly to breathe, the chest, breathe into the throat. Energize the senses, becoming more aware of the world around you. And remember that your soul, your conscious being, and your subtle energy being, are having, or is having, an experience of this gross world. And remember, this is a karmic journey, that you are here with a purpose, and the ultimate intention is manifesting the full consciousness of your soul. Open yourself to a new day and to all possibilities in this day, welcoming the karmic play as it features. Breathe deeply that you can really come into the awareness of your gross world and integrate with it. Continue to use the breath as it can help you to energize the senses that your soul becomes more aware. Of the space. The gross space. And let's create the intention for this day. I center my consciousness. My individual consciousness. In the source of my being, my infinite being, the God within me, that source of infinite peace, love, goodness, wisdom, and vitality. I stay centered there with my intention that throughout this day, my every thought, word, and action, my every expression of my soul be a blessing to my world and a source of light. I give thanks for all the blessings I have received from the universe, and I pray to continue to be worthy of them. Aum. Peace. 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 Namaskar, everyone, and welcome to a new day. The main thing is to remember that you are a spark of the divine. Doesn't matter what happens in and around you, that spark remains the same. So if only you can have this faith that the universe resonates inside of you as a divine, then in meditation, your intention will be how can I align myself to that? How can I uncover that? How can I experience that? That's what your intention will be. And if there's a promise of something, there's hope in your being. And if you resonate with truth, as expressed by masters, who have walked the path, who have made the journey, who live in the experience, if you resonate with that truth, well then, the promise will be even more for you. And the hope will be great. Now, it, we need to remember it's a karmic journey. And things may not happen in the way that we want it to. Because the journey is a journey that has many different influences. Genetic influence on the inside, that influences the mind, the subtle part of us. We have planetary influences that holds us in a certain way. They're called graha. They hold us in a particular way. 
So we, we cannot shift out of those easily. The genetic influence, the planetary influence, and the karmas of the past, the patterns of the past that exist within us. So we have to navigate through that. So you can only navigate through that kind of maze with intelligence. So you need the help of a wisdom guide. That navigation is not easy. So you cannot be impatient. The journey is too structured as a play. Impatience is not going to get you anywhere. But wisdom to understand the nature of the play. So we need to be good students in the path. Not ones who can be frustrated easily when we don't find something. No. It doesn't work like that. But when you can decode it, when you can see it, it's amazing. Then you can see the blueprint. What the planetary systems say in their astrological configuration. What the genes say. What the karmic patterns say. And then you can see your path. So you know why things can't happen in the way that you want them to happen. But they will happen as you begin to deconstruct, as you begin to see, as you begin to detach, as you begin to observe better, and as you begin to really venture with wisdom. It's like a minefield. You have to be careful and you have to remove things. Karmic patterns are continuously influencing you. Planetary influences are continuously influencing you. Genetic patterns are continuously influencing you. So when you begin to see them, when you begin to understand them, and you begin to work through them, it's an amazing journey. But we need a guide that we can resonate with. So the journey holds hope, it holds promise, and when masters are in our space, even greater so. So don't give up on the journey, don't be impatient. Be wise. Be wise as a seeker. Everything is there. It's a play. The divine is playing hide and seek with us. Everything is there, it's only for you. So you need to be a wisdom seeker. You need to be the one who enjoys decoding and deconstructing and seeing things. You need to be that. And you need to have the desire to work through wisely. Not impatiently, but wisely. When I say come into the inner space with me, you may take that in, a, in the way of, uh, mm, it just says to, to meditate. No. My feel is open to everyone, if only they can share it. So when I say, come into the space with me. It's a deep, deep invitation saying to you, my feel is open to you. Tap into it. The presence is expansive. The energy waves from the field are expansive. So when you get caught in your own mind and you're meditating as you want, you miss the whole field. But if you can tap into the field, you, you'll say, oh my God, I don't even need to think. I just need to be in this space. Another thing is that there are so many natural rhythms within you. Pranic rhythms, breath rhythm, Every cell within you has its rhythm. Everything within you has, has a rhythm. If only you can harmonize with all those rhythms inside of you. That's why I asked you to do the microcosmic orbit, because it's a rhythm that is happening already. Breath is a natural rhythm. Don't force the breath how you want to. Get its naturality. Get its normal flow and work with it gently, aligning yourself to the breath. And the breath will teach you how to go deeper. Get into the rhythm of the microcosmic orbit and it will teach you. It will teach you. 
especially when you're with the master. And the master says, do it. Have a blessed day, everyone. Namaskar.